prices continue to soar at the pump with no sign of slowing down. Some people in our community are having to change their plans when it comes to travel. We spoke to them today here in Elmira. Our Zach Wheeler has that part of the story for us tonight. The agony of soaring gas prices affecting our bank account. It takes me like $20 a day to fill my car up. But also our plans. We were going to take a trip to Mississippi, but I think I'm going to rethink that. For many, this is the time of year to plan that summer vacation. And with gas prices soaring at the pump with no sign of slowing down, those plans are changing for some of us. We used to go camping and everything. We can't even do that now. In the summertime, we have to stay home. I wanted to do some road trips out west, but I'll probably just stick to the Adirondacks now. It's a little closer, but still, you know, just reduce the amount of consumption. The prices aren't just impacting our wallets when it comes to fueling our cars. Economists say expect to see the price of other commodities go up. Well, I just reduce the amount of driving I have to do, so I, I can work at home and stuff like that. So it's really not a big deal to me, except for, of course, it's going to raise the prices of everything else, but it's pretty much unavoidable. AAA comparing this hike to what we normally see after a major hurricane. The big difference here, that after a hurricane, those prices go back down. But with no end in sight for the Russian-Ukraine conflict, we can expect those prices to keep climbing. In Elmira, Zach Wheeler, 18 News.